This challenge is called regular expressions number two. If you haven't watched part one where we worked on regular expressions, please go back on my channel and watch that video so that you can be more familiar with what I'm going to mention in this video. So here we need to complete this function called regex var and we need to return a regular expression object. So it's this object right here. It's not yet created, but like I explained in my last video, you can create regular expressions objects in JavaScript using the constructor called regex. So here they give you some example again. I already demonstrated that in my first video. So let's go back here and look at the pattern that we want to match. So here we want to match any string called s that satisfies both of the following conditions. The first one is that it needs to start with the prefix being the title for Mr, Mrs, Miss, Doctor or Engineer. And then the remainder of the string has to consist of one or more upper or lowercase English alphabetic letters. So that is from A to Z lowercase or A to Z uppercase. The length of the string is always going to be equal to or greater than three. So we're always going to have at least three characters. This is how you can solve this challenge. So I have a constant. I'm calling it RE for regular expressions. And then here I'm using the regular expressions constructor because I want to create an object. I'm using the new keyword. And in between the parentheses, I specify my pattern. So between these forward slashes, that is where I define my pattern. So I have this caret symbol indicating the start of my pattern. And then in between these brackets, I have the first token that I want to match. So it has to match either Mr, Mrs, and so on. But notice that I have here backward slash and then the dot symbol. This is because the dot symbol is naturally a token in regular expressions. And this means any character. In our case, the dot symbol is part of these titles here. Mr, Mrs, and so on. So we need to escape that character so that it can get recognized as a dot character and not as the token indicating any character. So we use the escape symbol here so that this becomes the dot character from the title, Mr, Mrs, and so on. And then we separate all these titles using a vertical bar. So it's Mr or Mrs or Miss and so on. And then we want to have that one or more times. To quickly explain why I'm using the addition symbol, which means one or more times, is because when I plug this pattern in um, regex11.com, you can have a look at this here. This is my test string. I have Mr. followed directly by Dr. followed by a random string. So this is supposed to match. If this were to be one of our test cases for this challenge, we need to be able to match it so that we can pass the tests. So that's why I'm saying you're allowed to have any of these titles chained together one or more times. And then in here, I'm saying the rest of the string has to be any alphabetic letter from A to Z, uppercase or lowercase, one or more times. So I also have this plus symbol here. And then here I have the dollar sign, meaning it's the end of my pattern. So let's run this code now. We've passed the four sample test cases. So now I can submit this code and we've passed all the test cases. So that's it for regular expressions number two. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.